in this video we're looking at cultural assimilation as a concept we want to understand what it is and how it's applicable in society and even more importantly how it impacts members of society the minority groups and the majority groups all right let's take a closer look so here it says cultural assimilation is a process in which a minority group or culture assumes the values right the traditions norms of the dominant group in society and then it goes on to say in whole or in part right so whole completely this is completely or in part partially this is partial right but for the most part it's really in whole because over a period of time gradually they adopt more and more customs, values, and traditions, and it becomes in whole. And then here it says there are two main types of cultural assimilation, full assimilation. And again, full assimilation is where the minority group, so let's put that here, this is minority group, right? Fully adopts, fully adopts all the norms, traditions, right? Traditions and cultures of the dominant group fully adopts right so it adopts it fully and it immerses itself in that culture because uh, there are benefits right so full assimilation here comes with benefits right so benefit of employment for example benefit of being part of society for example benefit of being able to socialize for example they have social benefits and there are economic benefits as well when there is full assimilation occurs when every aspect of the dominant culture is absorbed by the minority, right? Including language and common practices. That is full assimilation. They are fully immersed in the dominant culture. So for example, the dominant culture is celebrating a holiday, they celebrate a holiday as well, right? And they embrace the holiday. They want to learn more about the holiday and they want to, you know, pass that new tradition on to the, the next generation and so forth. That's full assimilation. And they are part of part of that whole uh, setup in our society. And they become indistinguishable from the majority group because now they are speaking the language, they are you know performing the traditions, they are following the norms, they understand the nuances and so forth, etc. The second type is forced assimilation. As the name suggests, this is where the minority group is forced. When the minority groups are forced to adopt the culture, tradition, and customs of the majority group, the minority group will have no choice but to adopt the culture, language, and traditions of the majority group to be able to function. And this is a key word here. So let's highlight it. Let's highlight it. To function in society. So if you can't speak the language, you can't take certain tests. Uh, for example, driver's license is in the language only um, and you have to understand the language to take the driver's license test you have to understand the language uh, to function at work you have to understand the language to function at school if your children want to go to school well the instruction is only in that language and that is forced assimilation right so they are forced to adapt the uh, language and the culture and traditions of the majority group if they don't want to do that they just want to coexist but they are forced to integrate into the ways of the majority group that's forced assimilation and the society that makes it difficult right they make it difficult for you to function differently from the majority group and so they, they put a lot of restrictions you cannot speak any other language in school the only medium of instruction is going to be this language of the majority if you want to take again using the driver's license example if you want to take the test you have to understand the language because the test is in that language if you want to take professional exams it's in that language and so the minority has no choice but to also gradually immerse themselves in the culture of the majority this is cultural assimilation full cultural assimilation forced cultural assimilation and it's important for us to understand the differences between the two one comes with benefit and is voluntary the minority group voluntarily embracing the culture of the majority group the other is not voluntary it is forced because you cannot function in society 
That is forced assimilation. And that is food assimilation. And that is cultural assimilation in general.